What's going on guys, Cecil here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make modded clothes for Skater XL. I'm going to be covering everything from the basics of Substance Painter for people new to it, all the way up until exporting it into the game and making it playable. I'm going to put timestamps up in a second, so skip if you need to, watch the whole thing, whatever, and let's get right into it. Alright, first thing you want to do is start up a new Substance Painter project, but in order to do that, you need to go to the modding SXL Discord and go to the template meshes channel. You're going to want to download whatever you want to make or download everything if you just want to have everything saved and put it into a folder where you know where it is. Once that's done, you're going to want to go to File, you're going to go to New. Besides File, you're going to hit Select. You're going to select what you're going to want to make, but I'm going to be making pants. Then you're going to want to hit OK. Once this is here, pretty much to move around, you're going to want to hit Alt and the left mouse button to rotate it. The Alt and right button, right mouse button to go in and out, zoom in and out. Or you can use a scroll wheel. And to move around, you just click down the scroll wheel and you, while hitting Alt and you can move it around. First, you're going to want to go to this display settings symbol. It's a monitor with a little gear in it. You're going to hit environment map and you're going to go to soft five day. Now, once that's done, you close that and you're going to want to Go to texture settings, go to channels and ambient occlusion, add that. Go to bake mesh maps, unselect ID, and then bake mesh maps. Now that that's done, you're ready to start getting to work. All right, so once your model is ready to go, you're going to want to learn how to use Substance Painter. So you're going to want to learn the paintbrush tool, eraser tool, projection, and material picker eyedropper, whatever. So paintbrush tool, pretty much if you go to the bottom on the right side here, you'll see these settings is mostly what I use. I unselect metal and NRM. Rough, I usually set to one unless I want to make something shiny. Height, it'll add some height to things, as you can see, and control Z to undo. And you can go here and select whatever color you want to do. So let's say you want to do red, and then add height, it'll be like that. I don't want height, set it back to zero. So it'll be red. The eraser tool is pretty self-explanatory. Just drag it over you want to erase. Let's say you do a mistake and you just want it to be undone right away. You can just hit control Z and it'll disappear. Projection tool is what a lot of people want to learn. It's what you're going to need for if you are making branded clothes or you want to add a picture onto something. Projection tool is what you're going to want to use. So I would make a new layer for that and go. you're going to want to import your PNG. So you go to File, you're going to go to Import Resources, Add Resources, and select something you want to add. Make sure it's a PNG. Usually I use PNG, so I think that's the only thing that works. Uh, select Undefined, but you go to Texture. And then if you go to Import Your Resources 2, a drop down will come down. Current Session and Project Unity 5 are just your current project you're working on and shelf will keep it so that if you want to put that same PNG on another model and make more clothes out of that, it will save to Substance Painter so you can use it in other projects. So I usually put it to shelf. If you're going to want to use it in other projects, basically you go to textures and it'll show up there. Now this white box to move it around is so to move around your model you're going to use alt left mouse button right right mouse button middle mouse button uh for s for for the square you want to hit s and it'll make things like it'll make it rotate you move it around right mouse button will make it go in and out so pretty much it, to project a png onto something you will Drag the PNG where it says base color. It'll add there. Then black things usually don't show up, but if you put white, it will. But I'm gonna put black because it's on white. If you print over, if you go like that over, it'll still go. So pretty much when it's there, we get it all lined up how you want to print it. You pretty much just where the brush is, just drag it over. 
I'll print the picture wherever you want it. And if you want to get rid of it, just control Z. The material picker pretty much it, it let's say you have red and you want to select that color, it'll just pretty much select the color so you can use it somewhere else if you let's say you go to black but you want that exact red again, you just go and it'll be like that. Also, if you want to color a whole model, but you don't want to keep rotating, it takes way longer. Go here where the square is, go to 3 slash 2D, 3D only, 2D only. I go to 3D, 2D. You go here, you can make the brush bigger and just color everything at once. So it doesn't take as long. You don't have to rotate and keep painting. You can just do it all at once. Same thing if you want to erase it. If you project things onto it, it'll like where the creases are, it'll go along with the creases. But sometimes, because sometimes if you paint it like, project it like that, it'll make it more stretched on the actual clothes. So you can use it however you'd like, play around with it, see what you like. All right, so another big part of Substance Painter that you're gonna wanna learn is the Smart Materials. So if you go over to Smart Materials, uh, let's say for pants, you wanna use denim, so we go to denim. If you open the folder, there'll be a bunch of things that make up the pants all together. So let's say you don't like these designs. Go here, get rid of them. Stitches, let's say you want to change the color of the stitches. You just go to the little color box. You change them, let's say you want to make it black. And you boom, you make the stitches black. Or let's say you want to even make them like pink. Let's say like bright pink. Boom, you can make them bright pink. Uh, you don't like the frayed edges. You can get rid of those, but I think they look good. Uh, if you don't like stuff you don't like, you can just get rid of. Just play around with it, see what you like. That's how I would like jeans to look, it's just like that. I don't really like how they're discolored. And then you go to denim base, you can change the color of it, or go to where is that? Main fiber structure. And you can change it to black or any color you want. So let's say you want black with pink stitching, you can do that. Or let's say you want red denim with green stitching. Change it. Boom. Put it to green. Bright green. Lime green. So pretty much that's how you do for denim. So you want to do the same for a flannel kind of texture. Same thing. You open the folder up. Let's say you don't like the white colors. You don't like the discoloring. You don't like the folds. You can get rid of those too. You don't like the wear on. You can get rid of that. You don't like the little clumps on it. I don't like those. You can get rid of that. Um, for the pattern, the stripe pattern, they are orange here. You play around with it. I put them in the white so they stay dark when I change the actual flannel color. And then you go to base flannel and you can change the color to any color you want. And the boxes will stay white. Change it. You can go green. You can do any color you want. Pretty much the smart materials open a, a whole folder that make up the whole texture together and you can pretty much play around with anything you like see what you don't like change it around so pretty much these smart materials come with these folders and you can just play around with it see what you like see what you don't like um they come with a bunch of preset smart materials and everything and in the discord i think there is a, a link where you can find different ones so like velvet i found off of the discord a couple other ones i think some of the fabric ones too and i'm sure if you look online you can find different textures any textures you can play as substance painter you can, you can use for these um another important thing you want to use for these textures is masks so if you add a white mask pretty much what it does is wherever you draw with the with the brush pretty much it will get rid of that texture. So if you see here, wherever I'm drawing, it gets rid of the texture completely. Let's see. Like, yeah. So it gets rid of the texture. Um, if I add, let's say I add like a black mask though, it'll be white and wherever I draw will add the texture. So you can use masks, play around with it. Um, let's say like, you want, like especially for shoes, it's a big thing. So let's say you on a shoe, you want part of it to be leather and the other part you just want it to be like a, like a canvas. Same thing, you just, add a mask, uh, black or white. So let's say you want to add it to somewhere, just add a, a black mask and you can add it. A white mask, take it away. So that's pretty much smart materials and textures. You can do it literally any of the textures. Just go in, play around with it, see how you like it, change the color, 
if you can. Uh, I haven't used any of the camo ones. So you can just play around with it, see what you like to do, uh, have fun with it. It takes a bit of time to learn, but it's fun to learn. So, All right, so pretty much I'm just going to do a s slow walkthrough of me actually making things I'm going to use for my brand. So I'm going to make the pants black. So I go to base color, make it black. I don't want any height, but I want roughness all the way up. I'm going to go to 3D slash 2D only. Make sure the brush is big so I can paint it all at once. Go in, put it around. It's all black. Go back to 3D. I'm going to want the white. Go to projection. I want the white text. I think there's there's about good. I'm gonna project it. Let me see how it looks. I think that looks pretty good for the creases and stuff that are there. Now I'm gonna want the little body chalk outline. So I'm gonna drag that over. White. I just decided I'm just gonna put it in the back pocket. So what I'm gonna do for the back pocket, I'm gonna make another layer. I'm going to go down to height, make it as high as I can. Choose a good brush size. If you want a harder brush, you can just go to brushes and basic hard so it doesn't make it like smooth anymore. It's just straight hard. And I'm going to just make my pocket. If you use, if you click once, hit shift, it'll make a straight line however you want it. like that and then add another layer for the projection go back size it to how I want it see like that all right actually what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add roughness and I'm gonna put it down so it's not super shiny but enough to where if light hits it it will be a bit shinier and I'm going to project it like this. That's good. Now, sometimes when you project things, it will show up like this on the outside. If you don't want that, but you just want the projection, you just go erase it. It'll erase the shinies too. And you can get it exactly how you want it. Again, if you want a hard brush, brushes, basic card. All right, so now that I erased all the shininess, the pants are pretty much done. So now I'm going to want to export them, so I'll show you guys how to do that. All right, so to export things properly, you're going to want the SXL exporter. So if you go to texture creation in the Discord, go to pin messages and go to the bottom, you will see DogVinci uploaded Substance Painter preset to export it. Just download that, and to put it in the right folder, you just go to local disk C, users, your name, then you go to documents, you go to algorithmic, substance painter, then you want to go to shelf, go to export presets, and you drag it into here. Once that's done, to export it, you go to file, export textures, beside config, you're going to want to hit it and go to SXL, and in the file, to select the file whatever, like wherever you want to upload it to. 
So I'm going to put it to A, clothing, instruments, and then we're, let's say I'm going to do start, okay. Tutorial, select folder, and then you just want to hit export. Once it is exported, three PNGs will show up and a other file. Don't worry about this, just delete it, it doesn't really matter. Uh, mask map, you don't have to use. I don't use them all the time. I was just showing you guys my tutorial, how you can add shiny things and race it. So I don't use that, so I delete it. Um, but if you want to use it, you just name it properly. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to rename it and just name it M pants, capital MP, go to underscore, name it whatever you want. Now, when you have that name, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to copy it. Hit copy. Now, for the normal, just paste it, dot normal. And for the mask map, you will just name it dot map PBR. But it's normal, so normal. Now, once that is done, you're going to want to put it into the proper gear folder. So I'm going to copy it. Go to Documents, Skater Excel, Gear. Now I'm going to put it into False Romance. Just love killed me. And then Folder. Hits. So you're going to want to put it into the Game Gear folder. Now once that is done, you just put it in game and it should work. Go to character, male standard, or wherever you put it. Bottom. Boom. And the pants will show up in game. Pocket's kind of under the hoodie, but it's okay. Um, but yeah, pretty much that's how you put it in game. That's it. All the links will be down in the description. If you guys have any questions, don't be afraid to comment. I will reply with any any help you guys need um but other than that have a good day can't wait to see what you guys create